Who's ready for some more Dollar Tree Cricut Crafts? Today we're making a pumpkin spice jar sign. This cute little blank was from the craft section at the Dollar Tree. I love being able to transform Dollar Tree blanks into beautiful pieces of home decor with the help of my Cricut machine. If you're looking for more fall Dollar Tree Cricut projects, check out some more videos on my channel. Last week we made this sweeter than pumpkin pie Dollar Tree Cricut sign. I also need to announce the winner from that video's giveaway. I wrote down everyone's name who commented on my last video and imported it into a random name picker. This week's winner is Amy C. Congratulations, Amy! For today's Cricketers Weekly Giveaway, I'm giving away a set of wooden craft ornaments. Christmas will be here before we know it, and wooden ornaments make such a fun Cricket project. I've made tons of wooden ornaments over the years. If you want to be entered into this week's giveaway, just leave a comment below. Now let's get started with step one, uploading our design. I really wanted to find something pumpkin spice to go with this jar. I stumbled across this SVG on Creative Fabrica and I thought it would be perfect. Creative Fabrica is my one-stop shop for all of my fonts, graphics, and project ideas. If you're not using Creative Fabrica yet, you're really missing out on a great opportunity to take your business to the next level. If you're interested in trying out Creative Fabrica, I have a discounted link down in my video description. That link will save you 35% off. You can try Creative Fabrica's all access subscription that gives you unlimited commercial access to everything on their site for just $1 for the first month and then $19 per month after. This membership is normally $29 a month, so it's a great deal. You can also cancel at any time with no questions asked. Just click the big green download button and then double click in the lower left hand corner. Click the SVG and open it, then right click and save it. Now we need to upload it to Design Space. So click Upload, Upload Image, Browse, then find your file that you saved and then select it and click Upload. Select and add to Canvas. The next thing that I want to do is change the color. So click the Ungroup button so it separates your design and then you can select the colors you want. I'm changing the word pumpkin to black. It's also attached to the word nice, but that's fine because I want that to be black also making all the words black and then the pumpkin in the swatches, swashes, I'm not sure what you call it, orange, the little swirlies. So we're going to be doing two layers in this project, a black layer and an orange layer. I'm going to use the I button tool to hide all of the text that's black. I only want what's left in orange, then drag and drop over it and weld it together. Use the eye tool to bring back all of the black text and hide the orange. Then weld everything that's black together. This is how you make two layers. Next, we're gonna go to step two, measure your project and resize in design space. Use a ruler to measure your project. I made my design five inches wide by 5.7 inches high. Step three, cut your vinyl. The vinyl I'm using is Oracle 651 black matte vinyl. Normally you should be using a green matte for this project, but my purple matte is so not sticky that I can get away with it. Position your blank vinyl in the upper left hand corner of your Cricut mat. Step four, cut on the Cricut. Click make it. And then you can see how it's cutting out in two different colors. We have the black mat and the orange mat. You want to select vinyl and then click the blinking Cricut button for your machine to start cutting. Step five, weed your project. Weeding is where you peel away all of the excess vinyl until you're left with the design that you want. You have to be very careful with Oracle 651 vinyl and go nice and slow so you don't accidentally lose any pieces. Make sure you pay attention to any of the dots on your eyes. Those are really easy to lose.
Step six, clean the surface. I always clean with isopropyl alcohol. Step seven, we wanna transfer the design with transfer tape. In this video, I'm still using contact paper as transfer tape. So instead of peeling up, I apply the transfer tape, then flip the whole thing upside down, and then peel the paper away. Carefully line the orange layer over the black layer. Then use your scraper tool to smooth everything down flat. Then, just like before, I'm gonna take the paper backing and flip this whole thing upside down so that the transfer tape is on my sticky mat and the paper is facing up. And then peel the paper backing away. Now for the fun part, you get to put it on your blank. Carefully line up the transfer tape over your blank and then stick it down. Then peel off your transfer tape. Ta-da, how cute is that? Thanks for watching, bye!